Hey, welcome to another video in our um, jokes application. We're right now adding a username to each of our uh, jokes. In a previous video, we uh, added the in the in the search keyword part, we added this section called submitted by user number and it shows the user's ID number. What I'd like to do is to show that the uh, username is also a possibility here, but this is going to take some information about databases that you might not know. So Let's take the uh, select statement we have right here and we're going to copy it. And the goal here is to put the username in instead of the user ID. So let's switch over to my PHP, my admin, and uh, let's see, where are we at? We're in the jokes table and I want to browse. And let's see, you can see that I have a user ID in this table, but not the user name. Where is the user name stored? Well, that's in the users table, which is this. And let's browse the uh, users table. You can see that there is a ID number and a user name. So we're going to use this uh, table here and join it with the previous table. So we're going to do a lesson on joins. Let's test some things out here in this SQL tab. So I'm going to erase the suggestion and paste in my select statement. So let's test to make sure that uh, this is all working like we expect. So I'm going to substitute the variable name by chicken. And let's see what the results look like. I want to retain the query box. So check this and click go. The retain the query means keep it in the box here so I don't have to retype it every time. So you can see that it is selecting two jokes. We have the two joke question and answers here. What I'd like to do is to add the uh, username. And uh, this is probably going to break. So the username, let's choose go. It's going to tell me that uh, there's an unknown column username. Well, I know username exists, but it's in the other table. So to create a join, it goes like this. So I'm going to just uh, press enter here so we can so I'm going to just press enter here so that the code is a little bit easier to read. All right, so now I'm going to insert some more code here after the from statement. So I'm going to put in the word join. So join is going to join two tables. Well, the other table that I can join with is the users table. So let's type in users and a space. So users, we're going to join users. And then there has to be a common uh, column that is common to both of them. So in the users table, there's this thing called users.id. So anywhere where we see an overlap between the users.id and the jokes table.usersid, we know that that will be the uh, correct uh, username. So now I want to be able to add username again. So let's type in username. And now we're going to be able to hopefully create a select statement. And it worked. So now you can see that the username is listed here under the, uh, the, it's got shad in there twice. So let's see, instead of chicken, let's type in the letter A, and let's see, we'll get a few more jokes. And you can see that we've got Bob Shad, Bob Shad all the way through. So now we've got ourselves a select statement that can include the username. So let's uh, copy this again, and we're going to bring it back into our application. All right, so here's the select statement. Uh, let's... Uh, I'm going to add some space here and paste. All right, so we're going to fix this up. We're going to put an end quotation mark. And instead of the letter A, we are looking for the variable called keyword from form. So I'm going to copy that and overwrite the A. And then this should be good to go. So let's delete. All right, so now that I should have this uh, this new field called username and let's come down to here instead of submitted by user number I'm going to delete that and change this to user name all right save that now I should be able to come back to my search page here and I'm gonna put in the word chicken again and search and it says here user shad and it says user shad again Looks to me like a space could be involved there. That would probably make it more readable. And there we got it. So we got names instead of numbers. So there is a lesson on joining tables. So if you didn't know how to join tables before, um, now you know a little bit about it. 
I recommend you go do some research on uh, some tutorials maybe that will tell you a little bit more about this syntax.